Maul, there was so much smoke and so much talk around Canelo. Right. So much smoke. Um, we, we mentioned uh, Canelo, and you, you, and you, you put it there. And mm-hmm. you know, Canelo basically said no. And they offered a lot of money right. uh, for Canelo, like $50 million, from my understanding, mm-hmm. for him to fight you. Eddie Hearn came out and said, quote, Charlo hasn't earned a Canelo fight. Look at his resume. No notable wins, end quote. What did you think when you heard that? Eddie Hearns is doing his job exceptionally well to try to make, to, to try to avoid fighting me. So at, in my case, I'm like, if you don't have any notable wins and we offer you this much money, why not take that fight? That don't make sense to me. Business is business, right? So we got to take what we got. And, uh, I mean, look, we're going we're gonna to continue to win. That's my objective is to continue to win and continue to keep my strap. Mm. Um, Canelo uh, came out and said, I'm all about challenging myself. Uh, I want legacy fights. Why don't Charlo and Benavidez fight each other? And then maybe we'll see. What do you think about that? <laughs> I laugh. I'm like, oh, he's trying to be a promoter now? <laughs> he's trying, he trying to be a promoter? Why you won't fight me? Why you want somebody else to fight me? Why you won't fight me? I'm 32. You 32. I mean, I, be, I was at 154. Canelo was at 154. I had a belt. He had a belt. He didn't fight me. I moved up to 60 when he was at 60. He moved up. What I got to do? Keep chasing him with my legacy? It is what it is. I'm going to just keep winning. Have you have you given up, let's say, the pursuit of Canelo, considering he said, look, I want a rematch with Bivol, and then I still definitely want that that triple that third fight with Triple G? I wonder if if they would give me a chance to fight Golovkin and I beat Golovkin, then would Canelo try to fight me? I take that fight away while he go chase Bivol. Mm. While you chase Bevo, let me give uh, Golovkin a tuna. I'll be the, I'll be the B-side. That'd be great, because that's a unification fight. He want to try to be a promoter. Let's make a semifinals. Mm. I love it. Um, you, have you, has that been something that you've talked to your team about? Yeah, I, I spoke with my team about it, but, you know, uh, I don't really get an answer back. I don't really pick my fights. Mm-hmm. I'm not really, like, into that. You tell me who I fight, I'm going to fight him. Yeah. As long as it makes sense to you guys, I know my team is the best. They're going to make sure that, uh, you know, Jamal Charlo is the best Jamal Charlo that he can be. What do you think uh, when Canelo says you have nothing to offer him? Canelo saying that I got nothing to offer him. I got a couple fans that want to see the fight, you know. The, all the, the world want to see it. I mean, he just lost to Bevo. Uh, you want to tune up? <laughs> you want to tune up? <laughs> you know? What's up? If they 50 million is a lot of money, man. That's a lot of money Let's to say no to. I mean, he turned down $50 million. I mean, it is what it is. What, what did you think when you heard that your side and, and PBC offered him $50 million? I, I just knew it was going to happen. I just knew it was going to happen. I'm like, yes, we're going to get that fight. I'm running around my mansion going crazy. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. They... He turned the fight down.